How's it going guys? Kyle here with Newegg TV. As many of you may already know, Paul recently did an overview of the GTX 650 Ti Boost from NVIDIA. Now, uh, for those of you unfamiliar with that card, or if uh, you missed, happened to miss Paul's video earlier, uh, it's essentially NVIDIA's solution to uh, getting a price point in between the 650 Ti and the GTX 660. But essentially, the, the performance that the 650 Ti Boost offers is actually closer to the 660 than it is to the normal uh, 650 Ti. Uh, so with that said, it's very exciting stuff. The specs on this guy uh, are all mentioned in Paul's video, but just to briefly recap, uh, there's an increased core clock frequency. It also has GPU Boost 1.0 now. And uh, above all else is the SLI compatibility. Uh, so you can actually do two-way SLI with the 650 Ti Boost, which is what I'm going to be showing you in the benchmarks today. So uh, without further ado, why don't we take a look at the hardware that I'm using to test these two cards. So to run these benchmarks, I'm actually using the system that I personally use at home for a more real-world uh, gaming performance test, if you will. Uh, so that said, it's basically all rocking inside of a 600T from Corsair, and I am uh, using a 2600K from Intel. Clocked at 4400 megahertz, that is overclocked, We've got an H100 cooling that. Uh, 16 gigabytes of memory, clocked at 1600 megatransfers per second. My motherboard is an ASUS P8Z68V Pro. I know it's uh, not Z77, but uh, it'll still do for now. It's not completely outdated yet until Z87 comes out. Uh, I got two 128 Vertex 4s in RAID 0, and the card that I will be comparing this SLI configuration to is ASUS's very own DirectCU2 GTX 670. So uh, I guess that kind of, uh, it's kind of a nice little test here to see can two of these 650 Ti boosts beat out a single high-end card like the GTX 670. So, let's take a look. Alright guys, well there you have the results. Uh, as you guys just saw, the GTX 650 Ti boosts actually do fairly well in SLI. Uh, they actually beat out the 670 in several of the tests, I think most of them, I think maybe a 6 out of 8. Uh, there were a couple tests that were just ties, I mean you, there was no distinct winner, the, the difference in, in uh, average frame rates was just too negligible to declare a winner either way. Uh, but these guys definitely did outperform the 670 in most of the tests that I ran today. Uh, but aside from that, um, you still have to keep in mind some of the downsides to having a multi-GPU setup in your system. Uh, for example, these things probably run a little bit hot because there's two of them and they're right next to each other. Uh, they generate, uh, well I already said they generate more heat, but they also consume a lot more power. So you got to make sure that you have a reliable power supply that has enough wattage. Uh, and you also might run into issues of micro stuttering if you have a multi-GPU setup. And that's whether you're doing SLI or a Crossfire X configuration. Uh, and essentially not every game is optimized for uh, multi-card setup. So sometimes you might see really good performance in one game but not such great performance in another, uh, just depending on how those drivers are optimized. But there you guys have the facts. That is pretty much all I have to share about the GTX 650 Ti Boost in two-way SLI. Thank you all for watching. I'm Kyle with Newegg TV, and if you enjoyed this video and want to see more tech videos, please subscribe to our Newegg YouTube channel. Thanks a lot. I'll see you guys next time.